Hello there. This is an extremely disgusting system. It is a rust bucket. The case in particular is so rusty that we're just gonna outright replace it with something else. There's a 9600 GT in here, which tells you anything about the age. I mean, this, uh, this graphics card is, is ancient, but in today's market, it's probably still worth something. Nonetheless, we're gonna upgrade uh, this graphics card here with something much more modern. We're gonna replace the case, like I said. We're gonna try to keep everything else, though, intact. We're gonna deep clean it all, and then we'll get to admire the transformation at the end of it. Now, I don't like to get into too many backstories when it comes to PC builds like these that we clean in this playlist, because frankly, most of them are the same old, same old, over and over. Either the system was abandoned in a shed or storage unit and it suddenly is in need of revival, uh, or the system has been used quite a bit, but has been neglected in terms of cleaning and maintenance. And uh, that's not the case here, actually. Well, okay. Maybe it is. Uh, but the current owner was not responsible for this here. Uh, he told me that the previous owner was likely a smoker. I'm not getting the cigarette vibe. Usually I could smell tar in a build right away. I'm um, very sensitive to those things. I'm very glad that it's not, in fact, tarry in here. It uh, just looks mostly like rust. Nonetheless, we're going to throw the case out. We're going to take all these components out in the garage so that none of this gets inside the house, just in case. Um, but the current owner of the system actually owned previously a much better system in the realm of a, you know, $1,500 or so, very well balanced system from what he told me. He ended up having to sell it kind of abruptly uh, because a family member of his was essentially on her deathbed and he had to travel um, kind of with last minute notice. And you guys know you buy a plane ticket last minute, you're gonna be paying several times more uh, than what you would if you had bought it two to three months out. And long story short, that viewer ended up with this rig because it was really all he could afford after his original budget was essentially thrown into a last minute plane ticket. Uh, so I'm gonna go out of my way to upgrade his graphics card. That's that's one thing I really wanna do. Um, it's re it was really cool hearing his backstory and I wanna do what I can. It's very difficult to get a hold of cards, even someone like myself with a you know mid-sized YouTube channel. Um, but I do have an extra 1060 that I think will fit nicely in this rig. Yes, the platform is still very old, but I still think you'll see a night and day difference between the 9600 GT and the GTX 1060 that we're gonna throw in here. Uh, so I don't, not sure if I said it already, but we're gonna take all these components out in here in the garage where I'm filming currently because I don't know what exactly went on with this case. It is rusty, but there might be tar and things and I don't wanna risk bringing any of that inside around my wife uh, or my kids. So um, yeah, let's cut to that right after this. Fellas, let me tell you about Manscaped's new lawnmower 4.0. It's a waterproof trimmer packed with tons of upgrades. See, I've been using the lawnmower 3.0 for quite a while, and the new 4.0 kicks things up a notch with a sleeker design, fully wireless charger, built-in battery level indicator, and braided USB Type-C cable. And with its advanced ceramic blades with skin-safe technology, you'll notice a smoother and more precise trim pretty much anywhere. That's why over 2 million men trust it. Get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use our promo code SALAD. Salazar, that's S-A-L-A-Z-A-R, at Manscaped via this link, which you can also find in the video description. Okay, there is a cockroach in there and probably other things back there as well. Looks like they've nested. It's really disgusting. This is officially the grossest system I have ever cleaned. And uh, in case you had any doubt about what was happening to this system or to this uh, case more specifically, I am tossing it. Now I'm thinking, Greg, that's a, that's a waste. This case is totally salvageable. Now just strip it down to bare metal, sand it, repaint it. It'll be good as new. Um, who cares? This thing is worth maybe 10, 15 bucks like used, you know, brand new, maybe $30, $40 at the most. And you're gonna spend way more time and effort than your time is really worth, uh, uh, way more than, than the price of this, I should say, is worth in your time to fix this up and restore it. So now, there might've been someone out there who would've been willing to do it, but I don't want this anywhere near my house and I'm just gonna set it outside. Someone can take it if they want, but uh, I don't even wanna donate this because it's so gross. And now that I've had a longer time to look at all of this, the less I feel like this is actually rust. I feel like this is just caked up grime. It's taken several years to accumulate. It's clearly never been cleaned. 
And um, this is the end result here. So yeah, case is being tossed. We've extracted everything else though, including the graphics card, the platform, the optical drive. We'll clean that, although we're not gonna throw it into the new case. Uh, I do have the two fans extracted as well. We'll clean these up though. Again, same story as the optical drive. I'm not sure we're gonna need these in the new case we're gonna put it into. Uh, all of the case components though, including the hard drive cages, which are worth a few cents a piece, uh, the front panel, left and right panel, obviously, and the front IO are going to be trashed. You know, I've gotta say, now that the internal components are inside, I'm getting ready to clean this motherboard here to start things off. Um, <clears throat> it smells pretty, pretty awful. It doesn't smell like tar. So again, I, I don't think this was a smoker's rig, but it's, it smells like something. It, um, I, I don't know how to describe it. I, you know, most of these builds that I clean that are really dusty, they all have a, a very specific smell and they all sound, they all smell similar, which is weird. I, I don't know how to describe it, but this one here smells different. It, it's a, it's a different uh, cuisine of dust, if I do say so myself. And it, because it's so dark and caked with other things mixed up in it, um, it's probably gonna be very difficult to clean. So you're gonna see me at first scrubbing with either uh, baby wipes or I'm gonna use uh, some shop towels with IPA, trying to get this hard stuck on grime out first, and then uh, we'll hit it with the electric duster and then get more precise with the Q-tips shortly thereafter. Okay, here we go, 2.0.
Well, here we are on to day two. Finally, everything has been thoroughly clean. We've got our new case, the MSI Forge 100R. Great airflow. It's a mid tower, comes with three fans. I'll have it linked below if you're interested. Uh, we also have a couple things that we won't be reusing. Remember the optical drive? That's not gonna fit in the new case, obviously. Uh, and then our 9600 GT will reassemble. I'll show you what it looks like, all cleaned up and, and put back together. Uh, but we'll be swapping this out for a GTX 1060, which is a much more modern card. And uh, if he win installs Windows 10, uh, for example, and plays modern games, I don't even think this card would handle. I think it goes up to maybe DX9. Uh, so yeah, DX11, DX12 games, not gonna happen with this card here. Uh, so that's another reason why upgrading is, is more or less required here if you're gonna go with a modern operating system. Uh, other than that though, yeah, let's get to it. I've got to meet this owner in a few hours. So I've got to kind of rush through this, but we're gonna still make sure that the system posts after we've assembled it. And I'll show you that all on camera. Here we go. And it's time for the moment of truth. Let's make sure I wired everything up correctly and that these components work. Power it on back there. Uh. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. This board does not use the the standard JFP1 header for front connectors, so this should work this time. Yes, that's what I like to see. And we got a post. Look at that, folks. Easy peasy. Now for those wondering, the CPU in here is a Core 2 Quad, which is pretty cool. We built with one of those a while back on the channel. Uh, there are two 4 gig sticks of DDR2 in here, according to what, actually, you know, uh, these are two gig sticks. I think that's total memory installed. So yeah, four gigs there. Uh, and we don't have any storage drives. If you're wondering, uh, the uh, owner of the system will be adding his own, uh, probably SATA SSD. Uh, so that's why we haven't installed one, but we do have the SATA cables installed, so it should just be plug and play. Well, this build sure has come a long way in just a few short days. Only two days to be exact, and that's, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. Usually builds that are this dirty, and this was the dirtiest, I think, the smelliest I have cleaned to date. Um, usually these take a few, uh, maybe maybe three or four days, because I, I kind of spread it out. I also mix in other content around that time, so it's not just me cleaning something for three straight days. That just gets very old. But um, two days here, not too bad. I spent a lot of time with that uh, graphics card. It was extremely rusty. It was so corroded. I'm not even sure if it works. I might try it in a separate video, though because it's only, I think, a DX9 card, uh, I won't be able to test it in my in my modern rig. But uh, maybe we'll put together like a, in a retro rig in and, and kind of see if it works there. But um, yeah, the graphics card took a very long time. I would say three or four solid hours just devoted to the graphics card. Again, using unconventional fluids like goof off 
just to try to get as much corrosion as I could off of, especially the stainless steel uh, rear uh, I.O. plate. So um, that card, yeah, took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, but the upside was that we didn't really have to spend much time cleaning the case because we just tossed that out completely. Look, a lot of people probably would have looked at this build if it was sitting on the side of a street and assumed, yep, it's junk, just needs to be thrown away, right? I mean, especially if you see like dead cockroaches in it and stuff, they probably would just presume that the parts didn't even work. But we salvaged what we could. We actually took everything out of it for the most part. I think the only thing we didn't recycle apart from the two fans was the optical drive. We still clean that, um, but this case obviously doesn't support it. Uh, but everything else we restored to working order. It looks really good. I would say borderline brand new, especially the platform, the motherboard, the CPU and the RAM, and it all works. I mean, that's that's a win-win. And as for this graphics card upgrade, look, to be honest, the owner of the system could have told me a complete lie, right? I have no way of verifying his story, uh, but it seemed convincing enough. He seemed like a very genuine young young man, and, and I, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to miss the chance to upgrade someone's system if this was in fact a, re a true story, um, because that, that's that's not something you hear every day. Someone having to, having to actually literally sacrifice their gaming PC to, to be with their loved ones, especially when it's only their, their last few hours on Earth. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't like messing around with that. The graphics card, I was fixing it up. It actually wasn't working at one point. I fixed it and I, I, I don't really need to, to use it for anything. So I figured I'd repurpose it here. Uh, and uh, it'll be going to someone who will be using it. I mean, that, that's for sure. It, it's not as good as the card that he had in his previous rig, but it is a step in the right direction for him. At least he can game with the GTX 1060. The 9600 GT, I mean, good luck with that. So with that, if you guys enjoyed this cleaning video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. If you are not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Click that red subscribe button. I would appreciate that. If you have a dirty PC and you live in the Orlando, Florida area, my wife's gonna kill me for saying this for the 15th time or whatever, 14th time we're on here because she has so many emails, people wanting to uh, have their systems clean for free. Uh, the thing is though, if you have an especially dirty one, you will get bumped to the top of the queue, okay? We're cleaning the dirtiest that we see first. So even if you're super late to the party and there's 70 or 80 emails that have been submitted before you, if yours is dirtier than all 70 of those submitted prior, yours will be cleaned first. We will select yours first if we come across it. Uh, so. That's just how we're doing it because the dirtiest ones typically have the best click-through rates. They are the you know the, the most satisfying to see cleaned, uh, just being you know, upfront with you guys. So that's our that's our methodology there, and uh, we'd appreciate those submissions. Uh, also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see cleaned next. Maybe a dirty laptop. That'd be pretty cool. A dirty console even. Ooh, now that that could be something. Maybe maybe a different series. Maybe not PCDC, but CDC CDC console DC. Center for Disease Control. Okay, that's probably not a, it's probably not a good acronym. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll think of something. My name is Greg. Thanks for cleaning with me.